Ingrid Van speaks highly of you. If you're high in her esteem, you're high in mine. It's the waiting that's the worst. If Kerbal has some magic cure, why doesn't she just give it to my husband? To all of these poor souls? Are you also waiting to see Kerbal? She's the village's mayor. They say Kerbal can cure any disease, but once cured, you can never leave the village. I'm not sick, but my husband Draven is. And if we have to live in a hovel for the rest of our lives to save him, that's fine by me. That's another strange thing. It's hidden, through the cave up the hill. Kerbal will send for me eventually. But I'm worried. It's forever without him. Could you take a look and make sure Draven's all right? I have some gold. I can pay you. You'll need to talk to the guard by the cave entrance before you go. They don't take kindly to unexpected visitors. Draven's my husband, tall, handsome fellow. Tell him I'm still waiting. To be honest, we don't know. He doesn't like to talk about it, even to me. Last month he locked himself in our basement and refused to come out. As if he was afraid I'd catch it from him. I heard all about a legendary village where all illnesses cured ever since I was a lad. When Draven got sick, I needed to find it, or learn whether it even existed. Spent nearly all our gold until I did, and here we are. Draven entered the village a week ago. Kerbal says it's part of the treatment, to see how the patient fares without his or her family. She sent someone to tell me it won't be much longer. I can't wait to be with my husband again. Stop! I must alert the mayor to all new arrivals. Many would. I can't allow everyone into the village, or we'd be overrun by disease. Some say the village can cure everything, but that's definitely not true. We're very selective. You seem healthy enough, though. What's your business? His case came up today, so your timing is excellent. I'll signal ahead that you're coming in. We ask that you don't stray from the town once you pass the cave. The woods beyond the village aren't safe. We don't get many visitors nowadays. Don't get me wrong, though, I'm pleased to see another soul. I'd offer you something to eat, but I'm afraid I've already finished most of it. Rejoice! Soon we will have a new member of our family, Draven. Patience, friends. I will speak to each of you individually. I don't recognize you. Come, let There's us so speak. much to do. Welcome to our humble village. Not many find us by accident, yet I smell no illness upon you. May I ask what brings you here, if not the cure? Ah, Renoir sent you then. He need not wait outside any longer. Draven will soon be inducted into the village. I'll see to it the guard lets him know. Is that all you seek, then? I apologize, but you are an outsider. It's impossible for you to fully understand, but... Suffice to say that those who are cured must stay in the village. It is for our protection and theirs. Draven is in the guest house, if you wish to see him. Forgive me for not getting up. It's been a long day, and I'm ravenous. Is there something you need? Are you new too? He's such a silly one. Of course I am. Now that Kerbal's agreed to cure me. He can come to the village now the first week's over. Is he still suspicious of these fine folk in the village, I wonder? Ah, I'm afraid I can't talk about it. The village prides itself on privacy. I apologize if Renoir inconvenienced you in your travels, but as you can see, everything's fine. 
Raven, what's going on? No one will tell me a thing. Come and sit, dear. Everything will be all right. I can't be the only one who thinks something strange is going on. Kerbal and a lot of them. They're some kind of cult. Renoir, let it rest. Soon I'll be better. Doesn't that count for something? I don't trust anyone in this town. Why won't they tell me exactly what the cure is? Why can't we leave town afterwards? And if they have a remedy, why can't they tell me what's wrong with Draven? Draven's desperate for a cure. He'll believe anything, anyone. I know you've got your own business, but I could use someone on my side. If you could have a look around, or maybe ask people about this place. I don't know. I'm at a loss. Thank you. I'll talk to Kerbal directly and see if she'll tell me anything. So far, she's kept all the details to herself, and you can see what Draven's like. When you have something concrete, let me know. It'd do a lot to ease my mind. It seems Renoir is a bit... upset. Please, pay him no mind. He doesn't know what he's saying. You're new, aren't you? I saw you leaving the guest house. Anything I can do to ease your transition? I can't tell you anything. Kerbal's forbidden it. You're welcome to stay, but don't go nosing around for clues. We're a private folk, and we don't like outsiders. Problems with the Reachmen continue. I'll have to start forging weapons instead of horseshoes. I spent a month trying to convince Kerbal to take me in. Not about to ruin all that work by blabbing off to an outsider. If Kerbal wants you to know something, she'd already have told you. If you're so eager to learn our secret, talk to Helene. She's in the lower floor of that house yonder. That's all I'm going to say. Why don't you leave us alone? We came here to get away from people like you! Blood, it's... Oh, it's driving me crazy! I'm a werewolf! Oh, God, I said it! A terrible beast! I can't control myself! But Kerbal promised she'd save me like she... Saved everyone else! Please, don't leave yet. Can I talk to you? It's past. I'm so ashamed. The feeling comes and goes, but 
I need to talk to someone, to take my mind off things, please. I'm going through my first change soon. It'll be my first time as a werewolf. Everyone's experience is different. It's a kindness to keep me away from everyone, really, until they know how this will affect me. It was an accident. While hunting rabbits, I stumbled onto a feeding werewolf. He instinctively attacked, but stopped before he caused me serious harm. Unfortunately, he'd already bitten me. I was so scared. He changed then and explained what would happen to me. He told me about Kerbal's Hollow. I didn't believe it at first, so I waited. People who heard about my attack made it clear I wasn't welcome. By then, it was too late. So here I am. Right. Something strange is going on in this town. You've seen it, haven't you? They just took Draven away for their initiation. It's like some kind of cult. There's a winding path just past the village. Kerbal and a handful of others took him up that way. They said they didn't have a spare robe for me or some such nonsense. Enough for both of us? No? Then you use them as a disguise. Kerbal's too familiar with my face by now, and she'll recognize me whatever I wear. They're binding him to the village forever. I don't understand yet. Make them stop before it's too late. Keep out of sight. They wouldn't even allow me to watch. So I doubt you'd be welcome there without your robes. If you hurry, you can make it before they arrive. Make sure they don't hurt Draven. There's no turning back now, Draven. You are a part of this village now. Don't be alarmed. Soon the pain will subside. No. Stop. You're in my head. Don't interrupt the ritual. Control! Oh, you startled me. Draven, come back! You! You've endangered us all with your meddling. Well? What have you got to say for yourself? Yes, we all are, in fact. That's why he came to us. I can suppress the lycanthropic tendencies of the disease. The ritual you interrupted was to seal Draven's form, to protect him as well as the village. But now he's turned and we're all in danger. We must find him. The ritual might still work if we catch him in time to complete the binding. If not, then we must save the town above all else. Go after him. I must tell everyone what's happened. Everyone who's left, that is. If he can't be subdued and forced to complete the ritual, he'll have to be killed. And that's on your head, not mine.
happened. Some of the people in the town are acting strangely. What? That was his disease all along? Why didn't he tell me? We have to go after him. He's probably frightened out of his mind. What was Kerbal thinking? Kerbal has a lot of explaining to do. Sealing his form? What does that even mean? Gods, I pray Draven's all right. Everyone, stay calm. We will soon have this back in hand. Keep faith, my friends. Renoir, bring Draven to the town hall. Stranger, come with me. Some of the townsfolk have already turned back into their werewolf form. The spell is breaking faster than I thought. Draven must complete the ritual. Yes. He's not the first to fail, but it's very rare. Those who don't complete the ritual usually die immediately, by their own hand or someone else's. Nevertheless, it's better than the alternative. He may not see me as an ally, thanks to your interference. He may only remember how much pain I caused. This is your fault, so you must fix it. The others from the ritual site will bring him in. Let's hope he doesn't remember your fight. Talk to Draven, but take what he says with a grain of salt. What have you done to my husband? Where am I? It was like I fell asleep, but then there was this terrible pain. I remember you. You're the one who helped my husband. Ah, Renoir. Are you all right? Did I hurt you? I see the truth. Power calls me. No one can stop me. Kill. Eat. There is no fear, only hunger. No, I'm not a beast. I can control myself. Renoir. Renoir, don't leave me. No, don't let her. I don't want this anymore. I've seen what she does to the people in this village. She takes their minds, puts them under her control. Being a werewolf is a curse, but I can't give up who I am. I felt it. She was in my head during the ritual, cutting away something inside. Something important. I couldn't move. To think she did that to all those people, that's no cure. I'll have to learn to control myself, but it's not impossible. I've had lycanthropy for a while now, and I know the signs. It'll be much easier now that Renoir knows the truth. Thank you, poor Renoir. I'm so sorry, my love. You can leave me if it's too much to bear. Just don't trust Kerbal. No matter what she says. I've heard enough! I'll be outside. He speaks the truth. I've bound everyone here to this village, but by doing so, freed them from the curse of lycanthropy. They all chose it willingly. Think what you want of it, but each of our sacrifices is for the greater good. It's a very long story, but the short version is through magic. I bind the villagers, voluntarily, to each other in our original forms. Once bound, transformation into any alternative can't happen. Yes. That's why we require a stay without their family before their acceptance. They must understand what it will be like without their loved ones. Can they cope? Can they live in this village forever? They must be sure, or we won't risk it. No one's ever left. We're happy here. Safe. Once bound, even partially, if they leave the Hollow, they'll break the entire bond and change form forever. Draven must see this. We will lose control, little by little, unless he completes the ritual. I'm glad you understand our predicament. Don't hurt Renoir. He's already gone through so much already. Take him past the cave up the hill. With luck, Draven won't be far behind, and we can end this nightmare. My head. Make the pain stop. 
Please, do whatever you must to make it stop. What will happen to Draven now? I don't understand any of this. Her too? That explains it. Kerbal has a spell over this entire town. These people are all mindless drones. If we're to save Draven, we must break this spell for good. I think I know what to do. The gate on this side of town leads to a cave entrance. It was guarded the last time I saw it. But with half the town gone, maybe we can get through. Kerbal doesn't want anyone up there. We've got to destroy whatever she's hiding on the hill. Remember, Draven isn't quite himself yet. And in this state, he endangers the entire town. I know it sounds harsh, but only severing his link to the village will spare the rest of us. Are you sure? You've seemed quite friendly with both Draven and his husband, and the only cure is a permanent separation between Draven and the rest of the village. Not that I mean to change your mind, but you must understand what this means. Thank you. We've but one recourse left to us at this point. Draven must be removed. The spell which holds back the lycanthropy is weakening because of him. Unless he either finishes the rite or dies, we're all doomed to follow him. I can't let the people of this village suffer for the whims of one man. The townsfolk. They don't know the cost of their freedom. No, it's better to do it away from town. Draven will revert to his werewolf form soon. We must lure him out of town. Renoir will be our bait. I pity the man, but it's our only recourse. I'm glad you understand our predicament. Don't hurt Renoir. He's already gone through so much already. Take him past the cave up the hill. With luck, Draven won't be far behind, and we can end this nightmare. Must hurry before Kerbal does anything more to hurt my husband. Is he all right? That Kerbal didn't hurt him, did she? How? I'll do anything to save Draven any more pain. He's ashamed of his disease, but it's not his fault. Is there anything I can do? Anything at all? All right, I'll stop my questions. Lead on, friend. Draven is no more. He's an animal, only fit to be put down. You'll pay for this, Kerbal. Save our village. Strike down the beast. Oh, what have you done? I'm sorry, Wenwa. Be with you.
He's gone. I can only hope he'll be all right. Such a waste. I'd hoped Draven would listen to reason before it came to this. If he'd remained alive, the spell over the whole town would have broken, leaving us all as he was, a mindless, slavering beast. I would not wish that fate on anyone. Yes, his death severed his connection with the town. I do hope Renoir makes it safely away, though I doubt anyone would believe his wild tales if he chose to speak about us. Another legend to hand down, I suppose. You've certainly gone out of your way to help us. I ask that you keep your stay here brief. The townsfolk need time to recover from this ordeal. More often than you'd imagine, we heal those we can of other ailments. But of course, our main purpose is to bind those with lycanthropy to their normal form. True. Some might say it's another curse rather than an actual cure. They might be right, but we live as peacefully as we can. We don't look for trouble, and we grieve whenever it finds us. <laughs> 